Good evening, team. Coach Gordy here. I uh, hope you're all well. I just wanted to make a quick training video. I was sitting downstairs eating my dinner and I always get my best ideas and my best motivation when I'm sat down eating or drinking something that I shouldn't be. Um, it was a really healthy dinner, that's not what I mean, but it's when I'm eating that I always go, oh, that would be a really good thing to, to do right now. Um, five, four, three, two, one, boom, gets done. Um, so I finished my dinner first, obviously. But basically, I was talking to my sister last week, who's also in network marketing, and we were talking about people who accept your requests, they don't answer your messages, and they just sit on your friends list, and they watch, and that's it. They just watch. Um, how do you connect with those people when they never reply to your messages and stuff? Um, and she asked about birthdays and she says, do you always say happy birthday to people? Hey, Scotty, hope you're well. It's absolutely awful um, what you're going through. Um, sorry to go off subject from what I'm talking about, but I really do hope you're well. I've been really upset in the right upset kind of way for you. Um, so, yeah, hopefully I'll get a chance to talk to you soon. Um, so as I was saying, like my sister was talking to me about uh, the connecting with these people who don't do anything, who don't say anything. They just sit on your friends list and they watch everything. And every now and again, you get a like, and that's that's kind of it. And she asked about birthdays and she says, do you message people when it's their birthday? And I was like, yeah, I send them a private message. And she says, okay, here's something to try. Get a video, record a video of yourself, if you can use something like Dub Smash, make it a bit fu funny, make it relate to you are like your personality, relate it to the type of person you are. And I'm going to show you mine. And I made this on Dub Smash because it, it just gets people to know what kind of person you actually are, even if they see what you're doing on Facebook. Um, so let me just find this video and I'll show you the one that I done. Uh, here we go. Right, so this is the video that I made for people's birthdays. Happy birthday, 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 will reply and I was like really so I sent that video for, for the last three days to every single person whose birthday it was every single one has replied and I've had a like three-day conversation with some of them from day one and they keep talking and it just it kind of I don't know it's like an icebreaker and it's absolutely amazing so um, I'm going to relate this to something I watched I watched Shalene Johnson's video today um, uh, um, about connecting and borrowing things and trying things and do you know sometimes some stuff doesn't work and sometimes you're just banging your head against a brick wall and you're like why is nobody talking to me and when you find something that everyone replies to um it wasn't Shalene Johnson's video that I was actually going to talk about it was the algorithms video I can't remember who was talking about it now um Melanie Mitro, maybe. I watched one of those yesterday from the training, um, the Beachbody coach office. And it was Dub Smash. I made that on Scotty. I made that video on Dub Smash and I edited it so it didn't say Dub Smash at the bottom of the video. So once I'd made it, I cropped it so it didn't tell you that it was made from another app. Um, so, yeah, algorithms tell you that if people are not replying to your private messages, they stop sending them. They don't send them all anymore um, because Facebook thinks you're spamming or Facebook thinks that people don't want to talk to you. So it just doesn't deliver your thing. So this is a way to get people to reply to you every single day and trick Facebook into sending all your messages into the right inbox instead of that random outbox inbox that they send the videos to. The, like, I've got no idea what that box is for but it sends messages to, and I went into mine, and there's loads of messages from like four years ago that I've never even seen. Um, so I don't know why Facebook does that, but it must have something to do with the algorithms. So the more people reply to your messages, the more chance you've got of Facebook actually sending them to the right place. Um, so yes, I found that has really helped. Um, and that's only been three days, but every single person has replied to me 
based on that video. And I, I, don't, I have not said anything. I've just sent the video and I've left it. Said nothing else. Now, once you've sent the video, what I have done is I go to their profile. Don't, I, like, you know, hold on, I'll type this in, right? When you type in birthdays, like, a quick way to do it in the morning, it only takes two seconds, type, go to the search bar and type in uh, birthdays. So you're searching for, oh, come on, Facebook, birthdays, right? Now, what you get is you get a list of the people whose birthday it is and a little box where you can usually type in happy birthday. Do not use that. Do not use the boxes that it brings up, okay? Because that doesn't um, click with Facebook that you've actually interacted with them because it's just a birthday post. It's something that they've prompted. So click on the person whose birthday it is and then you go to the actual profile. You type in for their wall, happy birthday, tag them in their own post on their profile, and then the fact that you've messaged them and their profile goes to them, it goes to all their friends, it goes to all their family, and it goes to everyone on their friends list as well. So everyone gets to see that you are connecting and you're a connector, and people go and find themselves on your profile and they want to see who you are how do you know him and uh, it just it gets you on every single person's like, radar so if you are not doing birthday posts start okay and if you want to be successful with those birthday posts and connect with every single person even if they've been sitting on your friends list for six months and they haven't instead of just taking them off and thinking they're not connecting they will start connecting when you send that video Take my word for it. Make a note of the date, and once you've done a year, change the video, and do another year with the same video. Um, so I made a note of the date that I started that, so that I can have a different video for everyone next year. Uh, but yes, hope that helps, guys. Um, I am going to save this video, and I will put it on my YouTube. I will put it on my blog, and I've actually I've three blogs in the last two days. So I'm getting everything on my blog as well. I've edited my blog, so it's it's focused on one or two things i am making lots of connections guys i am lining up lots of prospective coaches people are not necessarily ready to jump straight in it's not about pushing them it's not about um forcing them to hurry up it's about nurturing them it's about watching that seed it's about giving them the advice they need when they need it and then when they're ready they will take that step and I'm, I'm going with that, that, that recipe. I'm going with that plan for the time being. I've, I'm feel amazing for everyone who's getting to Emerald and I'm feeling amazing for everyone who's just hit Ruby and the diamond coaches in the country. And when it first started dropping in my timeline that there was all these new Emeralds and people on our team were getting into Emerald and I was like, oh, that's so amazing. And then that night I kind of went, oh, what about me? And then I really, I had to snap myself out of it because I was like, it's not a jealousy thing. It's not that I don't want other people to do well. Not at all. I I'm absolutely love the fact that our team and other coaches in the UK have kind of flown with it. But you cannot get swamped up in other people's progression. Okay, I nearly took some coaches off my timeline just because I started to think, this is really affecting me. But instead of being affected by it, I just went bugger it. Don't worry so much about everyone else. Just do what you're doing. It works. You know it works. People are coming to you now as well as you going to other people. So just keep going the way you're going. Yes, Jenny, do you know what you're right? Comparison is the thief of joy. Um, and it only took me one day to snap out of that because I, I've been there before and it, it doesn't help at all. So I'm going to leave that with you guys. If you've only just tuned in, um, please go back and watch this video. I think it will really help um, in terms of connecting with silent friends on your timeline. And I've got a couple more videos that I think I'm going to do. I might go in live in another five minutes because um, there's a couple of other subjects that I really want to tackle for my YouTube. So I'm going to get that done now whilst I'm sat in front of the computer and my brain is going, boo, 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 get it done whilst I can. Um, and then it's all, it's all done then and I can add it to my training playlists. So I will speak to you guys soon. Lots of love. Take care. Pow!